Hello, this is the disembodied voice of Mr. Gregono, and I'm going to talk you through a mechanics problem, uh, in particular looking at mechanics problems involving a system of forces which need to be resolved into X and Y components, uh, and uh, where the system is in equilibrium, and then finding some missing values. Um, so what you see in front of you is a standard example of this from an exam paper. And over on the right there, I've written down my, uh, my kind of general strategy for tackling the problem. And so I'm going to begin by representing, as I would on my answer sheet, um, the forces and how the vectors relate to each other. In this case, this will seem like a fairly mindless pr uh, pursuit because it's exactly what's been given to me in the exam question. Uh, um, but you want to do it because it makes sure that you have not missed any out. And also because there will be questions where they don't give you a diagram and you have to create it for yourself. So always begin by drawing a vector diagram showing the uh, forces emanating from one point, ensuring you've got every bit of information recorded on it. Uh, having done that, we're going to go and resolve those four forces um, into their X and Y components. And I will always do this into a table. I would recommend you always do it into a table. It ins insists you've thought about the positives and negatives of each of them. Uh, and as the problems get harder, the, tab the table will be your lifeline. Uh, so I'm going to start with the easier vectors that are not diagonal and represent those. So this one going downwards with a, a magnitude of P. Um, it's got no movement in the X direction, uh, P units in the Y direction, and it's downwards, and therefore it's going to be a negative P. The next one is this vector here, uh, which is Q units horizontal. So that's going to be Q in the X direction, nothing in the Y direction. And it's going to the right, so that's going to be positive. Uh, the next one is the 5 units upwards, so that's going to be naught in the x direction and plus 5 because it's upwards in the, right dire in the uh, y direction. And finally the diagonal one, uh, this requires a tiny bit of trigonometry which I'll just demonstrate here on the side of the board, although you want to be able to do this in your head I think really because of the uh, space because it's a very uh, common repeated process in these questions. And because there's a lot going on in these problems, you've got to be able to do this pretty much automatically. So I'm trying to find the x component um, from this diagonal vector. It's going to be the adjacent in my st uh, trig triangle, and therefore it's going to involve cosine. And so that's going to be 8 cos 30. And the uh, y component, the vertical component, is the opposite. And that, of course, therefore is going to be sine. And it's 8 sine 30. At that point, always stop and describe in your mind the direction of the vector, in this case it is to the left and up, and if you say that to yourself, you'll realize to the left is going to be uh, negative in the x direction, up is positive, so that ensures you get the signs right, bother to go and say to yourself, is it to the left and up, or to the right and down, or so forth. So there is the uh, four vectors represented uh, in an xy component table, uh, it's in equilibrium, so they're both zero, that will not always be the case in mechanics problems. Uh, we can now create two equilibrium equations from this. Um, I'm going to start with the um, with the y component simply because they're asking me to find out p first. Basically, all of these uh, quantities in the right-hand column must equal zero because it's in equilibrium, and I get minus p uh, plus zero plus five plus eight sine thirty uh, must equal zero because uh, it's in equilibrium. Uh, I go and add p to both sides, and I find that p equals 5 plus 8 sine 30 and if you put 8 sine 30 you see with relief that that does just equal 4 and so p does equal 9 newtons which is what the question asks you to prove correct uh, and then a one simple similar step helps us find q because the x components must also equal 0 and therefore i get 0 plus q plus 0 minus 8 cos 30 must equal 0 that is the x column uh, equilibrium equation and we go and put um, go and add uh, take add 8 cos 30 to both sides and you find that 8 uh, Q equals 8 cos 30 and if you put that into your calculator you will find that you get the answer 8 cos 30 equals 4 root 3 and that is the answer to this question you could write as a decimal but 4 root 3 will do fine um, that's uh, the simplest case of the equilibrium uh, missing forces problems um, and uh, the, my next video will give you a chance to practice this using exactly the same 
method. I advise you do that 